is married with Flip Your Dog Yoga or Hard Left Yogi. So, five things you need to know about Warrior Two. Warrior Two, the distance between your feet would be wrist distance. So, if I stepped out wrist distance, that's how wide my feet are. The other thing to know about Warrior Two is you have a heel to arch alignment. So if I was to draw a straight line from the space between my second and third toe to the center of my heel, back to the center of my arch, it would be a straight line that connects all three of those points. Another thing to know about Warrior Two is we lift the arms up, but the pressure of the arms are down. Why? Because we want the neck to relax and the shoulders and the back to carry the weight of the arms. So when you lift the arms up, then press down as though you're pressing down on like an air current. Another thing to know about our warrior two position is people tend to shift this hip forward or to tend to dive deep in this hip crease. This leg is nice and strong. The hip is aligned with the ankle so it's not going forward. And this thigh is actually lifting now to the pose as this thigh drops down. Another thing to know about your warrior two, are we on number four, right? Another thing to know about your warrior two is that the shoulders come directly over the hips. A lot of times I pe see people surfing, right? And so look for that. The last thing to know about warrior two and I was guilty of this for so long. No stripper butt, <laughs> right? So take that hiney and bring everything in. So the tailbone isn't scooping down and forward. The tailbone is pointing straight down towards the mat, all right? So those are five things to know about your Warrior Two posture. Guys, you have a great evening, good practice. If there's anything that I can answer for you about yoga, meditation, life coaching, awareness, whatever it is you need, nutrition, give me a little comment and I will 